Cheers, everybody. Welcome to another beer review. Now, this, uh, pick this up today in Asda. Um, I don't know what to say about this, really. We have got a collaboration between Salt Beer Factory and Guaylo, you know, the beer brewery in Hong Kong. And they have got a beer called NFT. And it's a collaboration release with Polygon. Now, I'm not up to all this fucking financial bullshit. Um, I put NFT in a in a search engine up there, and it says it's a non fungible non fungible token. It's a financial security consisting of digital data stored in a blockchain, a form of distributed ledger. The ownership of an M NFT is recorded in the blockchain and can be transferred by owner. And NFTs to be sold and traded. NFTs can be created by anybody. Blah blah this, blah blah that. And if it's, it's, an economy's fungible asset is something with units that can be readily interchanged, like money. With blah 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 blah. In other words, it's a load of financial bollocks. It is. It's it's for people who are too clever for their own good. Um. It says, "Have you heard about NFTs? Do you want to learn more about NFTs? Do you want your own NFT? No problem. We've got your back." Anyone who purchases this NFT beer can redeem their very own NFT on Polygon by scanning the QR code. What's more, we will be issuing three golden ticket style NFTs. Scan the QR code for more information and all this fucking bollocks. It really is. This label and a liquid inside will change every six months, it says. Who's in control of that change? You, the people, Greylo and Sort teamed up with cryptocurrency and blockchain technology platform, Polygon, and NFT artists, can't even pronounce that, to create something special. We are using NFTs to create the very first beer that is designed by the people, for the people. It sounds a little bit like Brudo, in a way. It's <laughs> that bit. Um... However, if you fancy showing in the revenue of the next NFT, or perhaps blah, 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 it's a load of fucking bollocks. All I want is a fucking beer. If the beer isn't good, I'm going to fucking say it. God. Right. Now, this is a hazy IPA, 6.5% ABV. I should have just said that to you. A load of fucking bullshit. You know what it is with all this technology floating about these days? It's it's getting to the point where, you know, I just look at stuff and think, what a load of fucking bullshit. It is bullshit. You know, electric cars, bullshit. You know, it's kind of like NFT, Bitcoin, bullshit. Everything's, it's just, you know, a cashless society. What a load of bullshit. And this, they might as well call, where I'm standing, they might as well call this beer bullshit. Right, beer. He actually looks pretty decent. <laughs> very hazy. It's not, you know, very, actually, it's, it's, it's quite l light, actually. It's, it's like a chalky look about that. Haziness. Let's get the aroma. It smells decent. Lemon, dankness. I'm gonna go in. Cheers. Smooth mouthfeel. Nice bitterness to it. Nice. Actually, it's quite a soft mouthfeel. Hints of tropicalness. Hints of lemon. It kind of it's it's, it's a really nice mouthfeel actually, and it's slightly dry on the back end. So, boys and girls, it's actually a really nice beer, but it's showered in absolute fucking bollocks. It is. Um, it really is. I just think it is. I think, you know, I'm a simple man. You know, I want to go back in time to, you know, simple things. You know, go back to the 80s or, you know, maybe early 90s. 
you know, I just think that we're becoming something which I don't really like. But it's a nice beer. Yeah, we're coming with something I don't really like, you know. It's too much of political correctness. It's too much of politicians lying to you. There's too many people, greedy people, taking the piss out of your wage. There's too many people, you know, who are creaming it off. You know, you look at sport, it's corrupt as fuck as far as I'm concerned. You know, you look at the football, it's all about money. It's not about anything else. You've got agents corrupting all these minds of footballers to make money out of them, making money out of them like a farmer does with its like with his livestock at a you know at a auction. And we come to this. It's just fucking bullshit. That is just bullshit. Bullshit stuff. You know, I've, I've got <sighs> I've got a lot of respect for the brewers involved. It's a nice beer. Don't get me wrong. It's it's a really nice beer. But come on. I'm not interested in fucking that shit. I'm not. You know. I'm not going to say. Everything else. Fucking bullshit. But nice beer. One more for the road. Nice gentle notes. Lovely. And I could, I could actually drink a few of them. So spare me the bullshit, salt and grano. I don't want to see stuff like this on cans. I want a beer. And I want a nice looking can to go with that beer. So overall, boys and girls, I recommend the beer. But don't get sucked into all that shit on the can. Thank you very much for watching this one. Please subscribe. Put them in the comments and see you all soon. And in the meantime, ignore all the bullshit. Cheers.